Today we're channeling cozy vibes because there is a thunderstorm and this video is super long. So, not really sure how any of that relates to you guys, but for this intro, I decided to go with the cozy vibes. So that's what we're doing here right now in my gym outfit and hair up and blankie on even though it's 90 degrees outside. Today's video is a long one. You are gonna need a snack, you're gonna need to be comfy to watch this video, but it is gonna be so fun and worth every second. Um, we're done with the studio, and this video is me finishing it from where we left off, which you just saw a few seconds ago, um, to completion, and basically, I am obsessed with it, and I hope you guys will be too, because it's super fun. Of course, I didn't finish the basement, like I didn't put up walls or ceilings or anything, um, but the transformation of this studio is so it's, like I said, it's gonna be worth it. So make sure to stay tuned to the end for a full tour of my studio. Um, it's really exciting, really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Really quickly, I do have a giveaway going on. The rules will be in the description. Make sure you enter because it's free to enter and it's super easy and you can win a $25 Amazon or Starbucks gift card and a free t-shirt. So considering this is a long video, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch and enjoy. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to part two. We're starting out out of focus. Yeah, love that for us. Welcome back to my studio. Did you miss it? Cause I did. I actually love being down here now. So as you can see, I have a lot of crap behind me and I'm crooked. Hold please. Also, you hear the TV like, almost like it's like right next in the next room. So I'm sorry about that. If you can hear it, hopefully you can't. As you can see, I've brought a lot down. I've even done like a lot of DIYs in here already. I've been packaging products in here and stuff already. So already the studio is working so, so, so well for me for multiple reasons. And it's not even like fully functioning yet. It does look like I did a lot while I was off camera for the last week where you guys haven't seen me. Totally playing with time here. It's only been a couple days since I finished the video, but you get the point. Um, but I really just brought everything down and started to work. So like things wound up in the place, the areas they're going to be. Um, so I'm going to start off, of course, with a quick rundown of what has changed. Just so you guys can kind of be on the same page. But I really didn't do anything serious. So I literally just brought all this down right now. Didn't think you guys would care to see me struggle to carry this laundry basket filled with stuff. But I just brought all this stuff down. I brought like a few more things as well. So over here we have this rack, which I believe I ended, yeah, um, which you guys saw in the last video, but now of course I have some DIY products on there because I started doing DIYs and was just like throwing stuff. I was just throwing things everywhere, so this is not where those things are going to live. I literally just hung these up like five seconds ago because I brought them down and just needed to hang them up for now. I don't know, but basically I have like some DIY stuff from that party stuff. Um, so that's kind of what these like leaves and everything are. I brought down all the bins. Um, all this is kind of the same. You can see this is like the remnants of some DIYs. Same for that there. And then just some more garbage wound up on the floor. Which none of it actually is garbage. I'm just exaggerating. So today I'm going to be dedicating just a few hours to getting things, starting to get things into place. Um, just because I want to shoot some stuff for Depop today. So I don't want to waste too much time on this today. What that entails is getting this rack organized. Figuring out a system for like how I want to store my items. Let's get started, shall we? keep shipping boxes up there so far all I have is this measly half of a box which is ripped I also put the two clothing bins here and the two item bins right here so this way I don't have to take these 
up and down every time because they do have some breakables in there so it just prevents the struggle of like picking up and putting down and the idea that something could possibly break that's that corner so my shipping corner is now basically done this will be a lot more org this shelf will be a lot more organized after i shoot today moving on okay now we're at the other side of the studio so i wasn't i was just gonna like kind of do this but i think it's a lot of dead space so i'm just gonna flip this so that it's just right next to the desk instead and then i'm just gonna use this space back here for like extra party stuff that i'm working on at the moment this is some things to be shot shipped and sold so now I'm going to try to get these boxes back in that corner, if even humanly possible. So I definitely have to clean out under here better, like I said in the first half, that that was really just a temporary fix. For now, I'm just going to take everything out, kind of reorganize, make it all just easily, more easily accessible, something that makes more sense, and then put it all back. Guys, I am so sorry. I forgot I was vlogging. I mean, I haven't done too much. It's really gonna look like nothing to you guys, but I did two big things that I forgot to vlog, and I'm so sorry. But I put up these curtains and I didn't show you. I think I'm gonna actually add one more nail here just to hide the seam there. But I put up a curtain here because all this behind here just looked too messy for me and I wanted a way to just freshen that up a bit. And then I also put up a curtain in front of this window because there's this really creepy window. And I have some creepy neighbors. So I put up a cute little curtain for now until I figure out uh, kind of what I would want to do with this wall. But I think I'm going to stop for the night. Um, I'm going to shoot and then maybe if I feel like it, I'll get another clip of what it looks like because I'm going to clean it up um, after I'm done shooting tonight. So yeah, let's do that now. Okay guys, it is now 1140. But I organized the shelf so now that actually is basically done. This corner of the room is done as organized as it's gonna get at least for a while um and yeah so i'm gonna sign out for the night uh, i had a really busy night here and down here so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you tomorrow bye okay we are back in the official uniform of this video but i want to work on these bad boys so that means that i have to empty this craft closet so realistically the only things left are these things and then this um, is all the paint in there so I can actually probably get all this down in one trip. I have the laundry basket And voila just like magic so now almost everything that is gonna be in this basement is in this basement which is an accomplishment to say the least I'm very excited so now comes the fun part so let's get to work okay I truthfully don't know the best method here I'm actually probably gonna take everything off organize things into kind of like piles and organization that maybe makes sense like maybe things that are in bins will stay together things that are loose and then decoration things and then we'll just build it from the ground up here we go so i took everything off the shelf and i started to put things back on oh it actually looks cute on camera um he's gonna be on the shop soon how fucking cute is he i'm gonna start with what's in here so let's do that first Honestly, I love how colorful and fun it is. It looks so freaking cute. 
Um, but now I need to get this cleared off. I also want to clean off this wall because I want it, well, not really clean it off as much as, well, yeah, clean it off. Because I have, like, a bunch of these tools that eventually I think would work on the pegboard, but I don't have anything for the pegboard right now. So I just want to get all of these hanging somewhere or in their own space. So, commence. I don't know when the battery died, but guys, <laughs> that looks so good, and that is like the perfect addition to this wall. Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing that I've been dying to do literally from the very beginning, and that is figure out the wall behind me, or behind you, in front of me. Uh, oh, by the way, these are from Dollar Tree. Isn't that crazy? I mean, you only get one sheet for a dollar, but I only needed four. It was perfect for that space. I am going to do... The foam board now. Sound good? Good. Okay, that wound up being much more of a project than I anticipated. Basically, I did a little DIY action, which is great because I have a studio to do it in now at least. So, I decided to do it in panels and then I might paint these green or just have people sign them um, in these sections and then use these sections as pin boards. So, I had to do like a whole sketch. I got my measurements wrong the first time. So, now I'm going to pin it up. So, to tack it up, I bought foam tape. Ask me where it is? I don't know. Foam tape. Found it! That apparently can hold up to 10 pounds. Obviously, this is not 10 pounds, um, but this wall is super difficult, so I'm hoping that there's enough it, adhesive here to hold up my foam board. So, I'm just going to put some tape on the back of this find out where I want it. Actually, I'm going to go up and measure it real quick just to see where I want it. Now all I'll have to do is glue this so that it's shorter because I'm going to keep it down for now. I think we're at a really good stopping point though for tonight. So I'm going to head out for the night. So thank you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so we're back in the studio. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like getting ready today. I, um, well I was drinking last night and I'm like tired, I'm exhausted and just like... So I'm not getting putting on makeup for these clips. So I'm not going to get too much footage today. But the studio is like a mess right now. And I have some things I need to do to work on. Um, for starters. So <laughs> that's like my top priority right now. Um, but the studio is a mess right now. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and put some more things away. So I'm just going to get a few quick clips of that. And then like I said, I just have to get some work done today. So, and yeah. So enjoy those clips. Okay, so I actually wound up getting much more done today than I thought I would. Um, the studio is almost done. The only thing I have to do is clean up the bench and my plans for this, which of course I'm going to show you guys probably in the next clip. But just to summarize, my plan for this is I want to definitely clean off this wall. Like, Other than that, it is completely done and I'm like 
I'm in shock. I can't believe it. And I love it. And everything is perfect. And as I was cleaning, like that clip you just saw, everything had a place. I put everything in its place and it was just perfect. So like, it seriously is coming together so well. So, so get excited. We're almost at the end of this video. <laughs> okay. I'm Guys, go. the day has come. We're finishing the studio today. Like I said, today we are finishing this workbench. And by finishing, I just mean cleaning it off, getting everything organized on here, and getting this done. So let's start with this. Welcome to my studio. backlit but I do want to give you guys a tour of the space so you guys could see how I transformed this space and how I plan on using everything so let's get right into it okay so starting right when you walk in I did put up this curtain right now it's just hanging on some nails eventually I'll get like a tension rod and hang it on that but that's really not my top priority and it's actually doing pretty well on these nails so for now this is a great option and it just blocks out it makes it feel like its own little space and it helps with the smell that we talked a lot about in the first video. Coming right to this wall, this is of course what you just watched me do. I hung up all the tools. Some of these tools are hanging. I have, um, oh, great start. Um, I have some scissors and knives in here, um, like exacto blades. I have some switch blades in there and then my rotary cutter, things like that. And then in this one, I just have all of my blades. So like exacto, um, extra blades and stuff like that. How many times am I going to say stuff like that in this video? Take a shot every time. Coming down again, I just have more tools. I have some mini screwdrivers in this one, some wire tools in this one. Um, this is kind of going to be like a dumping ground for bigger tools that I can't really hang up or put anywhere else. Like this one as well, I actually made this in my last video. I broke off the smile when transporting it. It is in here, so I will glue that back on when I have the <laughs> glue gun on. But I'm just going to throw like nails in here. I actually already did. Um, I had a nail just on the thing and I didn't want to throw it out, so I just threw it in here. Um, and again, that'll just keep it mess-free, clutter-free, and super organized. I also have my dustpan here, my mini dustpan. This is essential because, one, this is like a more of a raw wood um, finish on this, so swiping it with your hand, especially when you're cutting into it constantly, you can already see it's like messed up in some areas, um, there's a good chance I'll get a splinter. So just having this right at the ready handy off to the side so that when I'm making a mess all I have to do is dust it off and throw it out super easily coming over in this corner this right now is kind of like decor and stuff um that's actually all it is right now minus my sewing 
kit down here, which is just like some thread and some needles, um, which I can't sew yet, so that's kind of pointless. Then I just have a mirror and then this lamp that I actually made for one of my school projects that I just didn't know where to put it, but I wanted it somewhere in here, so that's where it is. Coming into this corner, I have my sewing machine right here, as well as some more of my markers and pens. Um, I'm using these things constantly, constantly jotting things down, and um, always needing markers and pens. I also, you'll see in a few minutes, have like a signing sign-in board. So having this readily accessible so people could just grab a marker and sign in was key for me. I just have an extra cutting mat here. So yeah, that's that. Coming into this corner, it's not super organized or anything, but I doubt it ever will be. Right now, it's just a home to um, whatever I'm working on at the moment. So right now, I'm actually planning a baby shower. We're calling it a baby drizzle. Um, and I have everything that I'm planning for that back there. Things like current DIYs that I need to do within the next few days. And this will just make it really easy. I can just pull this bar card out, do all the DIYs, put it back on shove it back in the corner so that it doesn't really bother me back there because I'm not walking back there anyway. Then we come to my desk area where I already know I'm going to be spending so much time here. I've already been spending so much time here and I couldn't be happier about it. So I'm going to start over there. Um, that painting is actually another DIY that I did in my, not my last video, the video, video before that, which there is a giveaway going on in that video. I think I mentioned that in the beginning of this one. Um, I just hung it over the electrical box for now. Down here is where I keep basically all my supplies. I feel like I've been through that before, maybe in a room tour. Um, so you could probably find that there. Maybe I'll go into them a little bit really quickly. I'll put that in. Okay, so really quickly into these drawers. They're not super organized right now. So I'm not going to go into too, too much detail. But I have a bunch of like paper clips, pins, stuff like that, rubber bands. Um, this one it was sticky notes and stuff like that, but I threw in some balloons in there, so I guess I can move these to the balloon section now. This one is all my tape. This is the most recently organized bin, because as you'll see on the craft shelves in a few minutes, I moved the glue somewhere else. So now this is an entire drawer of tape. This was my tools drawer. I actually have to take a lot of these tools out and move them to the tool wall. Um, so I have like tape measures, extra tools in here, my tape, oh, yeah, another tape measure, uh, thumbtacks, stuff like that. Um, this one is more shipping material, so I have my thank you notes in here as well as stickers. Everyone gets stickers and a lollipop. I need to restock my lollipops, obviously. Uh, this one is very miscellaneous right now, lint roller, some colored pencils, I don't know, very random. This one is all of my stickers mostly, besides of course the ones that are there, which I will mention in a minute. Um, but like loose stickers, small stickers, I actually have this binder just full of stickers in here so it's just like pretty easy to get through them. They're pretty organized but um, having a drawer like this that I could just throw stuff in makes it so much more convenient and I think I actually did this in one of my videos. Um, and then this one is all scrap paper so thanks for art journaling like this random thing. This one is cardstock paper. I also have these old books that are really fun to use in art journaling as well. And then this bottom one is construction paper as well as just this sticker paper right now. Or um, fabric paper. But yeah, almost all construction paper in here. And then right on top I just have all of our paint brushes. I never realized how many paint brushes we had until I was organizing and throwing and getting rid of everything. And I'm like where I don't even know how they kept coming, but now we have this entire bin filled, which is crazy. Right next to that, I actually have my diffuser with my oils right under it. I have a candle going right now, so I don't have the diffuser going, but um, that is definitely essential down here, and it has been such a lifesaver. So I'm a little bit of a mess for this video. I literally just finished the room. I hope you don't mind. Um, okay, desk area. Pretty self-explanatory. I have my friend's Lego set right here that I'm still working on. So you saw me make this, so now the, all the white spaces are going to be for people to sign, which you can see people already have started. And then this is going to be just like a pin board, cork board for me to just stick things to. I already started just sticking like random things I found around that I wanted to keep, but didn't know where to put. So that'll eventually fill up and look really cool. This is like my everyday, I have all my black markers in this. There's just like my essential everyday desk things I need. Um, and then I have my art journal, which she has yet to be started. She's a new one. 
Down here I keep um, all of the things basically for art journaling. I have some scrapbook paper and then I have a bunch of magazines and art books and stuff. I also have some stickers down here as well. I also have some extra notebooks, sketchbooks, things like that right there and then my main cutting mat which I'll probably leave out here most of the time when I'm not working on a friend's Lego set. Moving on. So this is the shelves I pride myself most on because you guys saw what they came from. It was not pleasant. Um, so having everything on here has been so amazing. I'm going to go through it individually in a second, but let me just brief you guys. I have a mirror over here, which I realized um, when I was shooting the other day, I shot product down here, which was amazing. Such a great feeling shooting in my studio. Um, I needed a mirror. I had no mirror down here, so that sucked. So I got, I brought myself down a full length mirror, I also have my garbage can right here, and then this little puff is great for grabbing product at the top shelf. So now I'm going to take you guys through the shelves a little bit. So starting on the bottom, uh, I just keep my clipboard under here, and then I have my portfolio under there. Um, this bag is really convenient if you're, if I'm doing like DIYs upstairs or if mom wants to do something. We just take what we need, put it in this bag, bring it upstairs, and then we can bring it back down, put everything back where it goes, put the bag back, and then keep everything fairly organized. This shelf, I have this alarm clock that I also made in the DIY video, but I didn't include it because honestly it was just like not a great DIY to show. But I mean, it looks super cute. This is um, mostly stencils, but also like weird sticker, paper, um, just a weird mix of items in there. This is an entire drawer filled with paint and lots of it. So yeah, back there I have glitter hidden because who the hell needs glitter that much? And then in here is, right now it's just a light bulb because it's kind of a miscellaneous. I don't really know what to do with it. And I also didn't know what to do with the light bulb, so I figured they went hand in hand. So that's where that lives now. This is the rest of my paint. I have some, oh, sorry. I have some spray paint in here, watercolor paint, more acrylic paint, but that's like artist acrylic paint. And then I have some Prismacolors back here as well. This is basically all yarn and fucking ribbon. I don't even know why we have this much yarn and ribbon. We rarely, very, very, rarely use yarn and or ribbon. Um, I have a little friend's planter. I think this is actually a mug, but with a almost dead plant that just kind of looks cool. Kind of looks like a really ugly bonsai tree. This basket is basically filled with yarn minus a few more spools of ribbon because we have so goddamn much. This is the majority of our ribbons, um, pretty easily accessible, pretty easy to put back. And then this is the majority of our string, so like I have this one you see sticking out of the side so I can just pull it when I need a little bit of it, um, but of course if I just need to take it out, it's super easy to take out. In front of that I have an entire thing of buttons for whatever reason, and then a caboodle which has not found a tenant yet, but hopefully soon. And then I have little eyeballs, little googly eyes. Uh, this was actually my DIY, and this was probably my favorite DIY in that whole video because I'm just, I, I'm literally obsessed, and I love the print inside as well. So she's just a decor piece. Behind there, I have some wire, and then this is all like scrap, ribbon, and string, um, smaller amounts on it. I have these wrapped around popsicle sticks just for better organization. I actually did that a long time ago. And then under here is all of my washi tape, which there's a lot of it, like too much of it. Moving up, um, this is a lot, a lot going on. Over here I have some clothespins and some clips that are good for like gluing things, popsicle sticks, skewers, pipe cleaners, and some more string because there's so much goddamn string. Um, I have foam back there. This is the glue bin that I mentioned a little bit earlier. All of these are are our hot glue sticks and then this is all the rest of the glue so rubber cement elmer's glue fabric glue glue sticks all those good things and then right in front of it i keep both of our hot glue guns the bigger one and the smaller one and then i also have some little finger protectors in there as well over here we have puffs little pom-poms that's what those are called little pom-poms and some more random items kind of hiding back there because they don't really have a home yet and then my favorite new item that I'm going to be selling her, but like I just want to treasure her for a few more minutes because like I'm obsessed with her. This is my new cow cookie jar. There's nothing in her. Again, I'm actually going to shoot her tonight and list her 
within the next few days because she's just too pretty for someone who like someone needs to love and appreciate her the way she deserves and then up here I have some wood scraps like um, some Jenga blocks and stuff like that for DIYs so wood scraps and then the last corner is my Depop corner. This is where I keep all of my inventory. I have my clothing inventory. I don't know why I said it like that. I have my clothing inventory here and my item inventory here. Um, I have my shooting material such as lights and backdrop over here. Uh, this shelf is my shipping materials, bubble wrap, tape, poly mailers. Up here, I will scoot you up so up on these shelves I have extra stock that didn't fit in the bin so I have these a bunch of lamps honestly that just don't fit in bins so that's just where they are living right now over here is stock that needs to be either shot or DIY or cleaned in here I actually have a bunch of like ipsy bags and old makeup bags that I give away when you buy a bundle or I believe I do $50 plus and then up here, which I don't really think you could see, you can kind of see under here, is all a bunch of shipping boxes, all different shapes and sizes and everything because, well, I ship a lot of different random items and I need all different shaped and size boxes. Um, so I wound up hanging up this piece of fabric curtain thingy um, to hide the mess because, of course, everything under here is not cohesive, which you guys kind of saw already, but this is all my party stuff, so... Um, I have like balloon stuff, ribbon decor, vase filler, table scatter, banners, things like that all under here. This is all glassware, um, but it's not cohesive looking. None of the drawers match and it's really just a mess. Um, but I really, there's nothing else I can do about it right now. So I have it hidden with a curtain that I just nailed up. And eventually, again, I will probably get a tension rod so I could just skirt, skirt it. But for now, this actually works pretty well. And I really don't go down here that often, so this works fairly decently. And we're back at the front. So, can you guys believe this transformation that we did? I am absolutely obsessed with the space. Like I said, I always want to be down here um, working on something, and it just makes it so much easier to do everyday things. I will let Outro Madison handle this because I don't want to film an outro looking like this, even though I just filmed an entire room tour looking like this. But I want to remind you guys that I can look halfway semi-decent sometimes. So let's cut to the outro. Okay, I know I said I want to show you guys that I can look halfway decent. And here I am with my hair up and my gym outfit. But it's fine. How good was that transformation? How satisfying were the before and afters? I'm so happy with it. I'm literally obsessed with the studio and I hope you guys are too and if you guys have any questions as to where I got something or how I did something or um, if you have any recommendations for something I can do that would be like an easy fix, I would gladly take any recommendations. And with all that being said, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. As always, you could shop my Depop down below. I have something for everyone on there. You could also follow me on Instagram. You can follow the Identity Crisis Instagram. And also subscribe and also leave a comment on my second to last video for an entry into a giveaway. And you can also follow my personal Instagram if you're feeling up to it. Um, and you can leave a comment down below. You could subscribe and join our little corner of the internet here. Uh, what else can you do? You can be my friend. You can, uh, I don't know. You could do a lot of things right now. You could do whatever the hell you want. All I care about is that you stick around and join us and subscribe. So if you do, then I guess I'll uh I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys. <laughs>